tap prep prep rip roaring ready to go for your monday as i just randomly start moving things around my desk for no reason uh double check again yep recording is happening monday we know what monday is at this point how many states left in the old uh um uh whatever the word's called states in the u.s let me let me see if i can find it and of course it's taking forever to actually load i have no idea why it's taking so much longer to load <clears throat> i'm just doing this to count to see how many exact um states we have left and no other time has it been such a pain in the ass to upload than it has now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven there's 12 left 12 weeks what's in 12 weeks well, that's three months away, and it is, so it's going to be October. Well, how about that? Time sure does fly when you just do nothing, or do what you normally do. Anyway, that's dumb. This intro is dumb. We're doing states, and uh, we're, at, we're past the O's, and we're on the PP's. So the P state this time is Pennsylvania. Or Pennsylvania, if you want to know how to pronounce it properly. Up here in what we're going to call, I think it's still called Mid-Atlantic. Granted, it doesn't have a actual, well, it kind of does if you count the Delaware River as technically part of the ocean. But yeah, I think it's it, it might still be freshwater at that point. Um, Yeah, here it is. To the north, you've got New York. and Lake Erie and you know Ontario you could kind of say it is the west Ohio a little bit of West Virginia as well to the southwest Virginia in Maryland and a little nugget of Delaware and to the east is New Jersey and New York it is the uh second state to be part of the uh uh america right after good old delaware and there was a certain point uh, at one point these two were actually the same um uh territory what was it called new um where is it where is it where is it it was uh it was this fuck, why can't i find it now this I, I was just looking at it earlier now i can't Whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll find it. I have to actually find out where the fuck we are here. It was part of that um, uh, Swedish colony that was formed at the time, and I can't find the actual um, <clears throat> thing in the page, and I'm going to look at that when the um, round's over. But it was the second state. It became a state on uh, December 12th, 1787. Um, as it is being in the northeast as it is climate wise it's got all the seasons you can get a little warm has some lake effect snow when it comes to the winter but very much this this looks like it's late summer ooh i want to see that sign let me go back i was hoping to click once what do we got stevensville community club pen dot thanks it's 10 yeah pen dot is the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation. I guess they're they're a big thing. And you very much have to know their SR seven oh six. That probably that's the something road, I believe. All these codes. Well the speed limit changed down to forty, which means we're getting close to a town of some sort. Because you're not gonna slow down the uh speed limit for no reason. As we get into Stevensville. The village of Stevensville, which, if you want to know what certain small towns will look like anywhere in the U.S. and you haven't gotten that impression anywhere else, it can look like this: just a random car, truck, or vehicle on the side of the road next to some abandoned houses. Although this is not abandoned, you could have. Uh, although this one seems to be doing a bit better than some others. Oh, we do have a. Montrose. I probably am not going to find this. Montrose. Um, I'll say we're up here. Anyway, 
as we're going through this, we'll we'll just do a little bit more in the 15 seconds here. The capital, Little Harrisburg, the largest city that was Philadelphia down here, which was arguably going to be, I think, the nation's capital at one point. Um, we've also got Pittsburgh, um, Allentown a little bit. Ooh, I wasn't that far. Um, but historically, Pennsylvania itself was a like with any other um, U.S. colony or U.S. Co a colony in the U.S. Um, Native Americans here, colonists came. Either they got along or they fought. Eventually, they just fought, took over their land. Um, it's it had kind of like the same deal with most um, northern states. Uh, they all followed the same pattern, basically, where the northeast of America was a huge um, industrial steel-making section of the country, and eventually that died out, and they've been struggling to find replacements for it. Some places have done better than others, like Pittsburgh uh, was home of one of the two largest steel manufacturers in the world, I believe. Um, and the other one I think was in Bethlehem, but I don't know where Bethlehem is, and it's probably a good sign that uh, it didn't do as well successfully as uh, Pittsburgh did, but I'm going to go find out as I uh, scroll down here to find where it actually is, because I want to be correct in my assumptions, and if you'll please forgive me this. Um, here we go, Bethlehem. We're going to open it in a new tab so I can see where it is. Bethlehem, okay. So Bethlehem is over here in the east. I want to see if I can actually get the specific location for it. I'm going to zoom out a bit. So it's Bethlehem right there. It's part of, it, it, it was a huge steel place. Didn't do as well as uh, Pittsburgh did to rev revitalize itself once. The, I said. Next round, thank you. Lick and Putt. What a dumb name. <laughs> oh, I love it. The Lick and Putt. They got black, black raspberry, though. I'm going to assume that... I mean, I know that Taiwan had it when I was there, but ice cream soft serve's got to be a thing everywhere. Like this type of ice cream, hand dip stuff too, where they'll take this and then dip it in like chocolate, um, make a hard shell on it. I mean, that's that's a thing other places too, right? It has to be. Um, let's see if we can actually see what the mini golf course is. I love mini golf. Who doesn't love mini golf? Lick and Putt loves it so much so. Although that does mean that's probably no, there might be a golf course in the. <clears throat> background there. Uh, I'm just going this way a little bit because this looks to be quite a developed chunk of land. County Line Road. So maybe this will have a better chance of actually finding where it is. Um, other stats for the state. Let me scroll back up to the top. You've got total land is about 46,000 square miles, which makes it 33rd in area, which is just below average. Although I thought it would have been more, because it kind of looks like a big enough state. Let me take a sip of coffee. Um, let's see here. Highest elevation is 3,213 feet, Mount Davis, which is a lot lower than I thought it would have been. And then lowest elevation is down Delaware River, which is zero. I don't know. You got Appalachians go right through Pennsylvania, but apparently it's... Not that high. I mean, I think Appalachia was much higher at some point in its life than it is now. Okay, here we go. We've got Armstrong, Drugs Kill Dreams, and West Franklin County. I don't know where those are. That's the township. So I'm going to hit home and go the other way. This is a pretty nice view. I like, I like the... Okay, we're at the East 422. Will I find... Oh, Fort... Holy shit. Next to King of Prussia. <laughs> is this 422? It is. Okay, so we've got ourselves a chunk of land here. How far does 422 go? Does it keep going here? I 
think it ends. We're just gonna take a look right here. Okay, that's 76. All right, 422 seems to probably end at Hershey. And yes, that is Hershey chocolate, if that's a thing in other places in the world. That's where it's originating from. I have never been myself. Um, I'll get to that later. We'll go back over to the population where it was 12 million, which is the fifth. Uh, try again. Okay. It's fifth in population. That's, that's where it ranks. Jesus, why, why couldn't I spit that out? My brain was just refusing to work. Okay, Armstrong County in West Franklin Township. Does, is this the county? No, that's a train line. We've got Armstrong, West Franklin. I was hoping this would actually show. Um... Like counties on it, but it doesn't seem to be. I'll put a sneak here, and I'm just gonna, in the five seconds I have, hopefully actually get a little farther down here. But I don't think I'm gonna get to it in time. We were. Oh, Jesus. Okay, it does go way farther west. Well, fuck me. That's annoying. Ah, I need some coffee. Continue. Um. Boundaries on the Mason-Dixon line, which is what officially split between the north and the south, was the border between Pennsylvania and Maryland. Um, blah, blah, blah. Climate. It's diverse topo topography also produces a variety of climates through the entire state experiences cold winter and humid summers. Straddling two major zones, the majority of the state except for southeastern corner down here is a humid section. And then there's humid subtropical. It's, it, it's hot and humid in the summer, and that's awful. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Come on. New Sweden colony is kind of the area there. Um, this whole state was named after William Penn, um, the founder of the, the state. <laughs> uh, just quickly scanning through if there was anything of note. I mean, this is a huge location as far as, like, uh, American colony in the Revolutionary War. You know, you had the Declaration of Independence. I believe it was signed in Philadelphia. Um, you had Valley Forge here. You've got Gettysburg. I believe it's Gettysburg. Um, none of that seems to be going into my head right now as far as <clears throat> um, things being like, okay, push this out of your mouth and talk about it. It's not, it's not, coming, not coming to mind. I don't know why. Maybe it's a bit early, but I've only been to Pennsylvania couple of times like I mentioned when I was going to Ohio I drove through the little nugget here we're gonna cross some Mennonites uh, if you're not entirely familiar with what those are the Amish um, it is a break off of um, Lutheranism I believe uh, what was it called plain plain communities you have Pennsylvania Dutch, even though that's actually German. And uh, the little blurb here is Pennsylvania German is often, even though misleadingly called Pennsylvania Dutch, the term Dutch used to mean German, including the Netherlands, before the Latin name for them replaced it, but stuck with the Netherlands. When referring to the language spoken by the Pennsylvania Dutch people, Pennsylvania German, it means German or Teutonic rather than Netherlander. That's a weird Netherlander. Kubota. Ooh, you want a nice little tractor? It's got a mower on it on the back. It's a front loader. Fits something, something. I guess he's used it for 460 hours. 800 bucks. That, that makes it seem like there's something wrong with that. I wouldn't buy that. That's just my assumption. Netherlands in their own language are Germans. 
in their own language, call themselves Dutch. Pennsylvania German equals Deitsch, D-E-I-T-S-C-H. The Pennsylvania German language is a descendant of German in the West Central German dialect family. It is closest to Palatine, or P-A-L-A-T-I-N-E, German. Pennsylvania German is still very vigorous as a first language among Old World Amish and Old World Mennonites, principally in the Lancaster County area. And Lancaster County is right here. Uh, but you have Amish here. There's some Amish up there, or Pennsylvania Dutch, we'll call them. <clears throat> um, it, it's kind of just, it's, it's kind of a touristy thing. I mean, I've not actually partaked, like partaked in just like a gawking at people living the horse and buggy lifestyle with very little or no electricity. What do we got? Ponderosa Golf Course. And of course they have a buffet. <laughs> if you don't know what Ponderosa is, ooh, that's it's across the street as well. Man, I have not golfed this week, this year, and I am missing it. Ponderosa is kind of a very cheap um, buffet-style restaurant. Buffet-style restaurant, if you don't know what that is, is just all the food is put out. You go up with a plate, and you just grab a little bit from one thing, grab a little bit from one thing. But we're at... Junction of 18. Is that going to be big enough for me to actually see? I see 19. 18 is going east to west. Holy shit, I'm running out of time. There's 18. I don't know if that's the same. We have north-south 18. And I find the golf course. Probably not. I'm going to get a bad score on this one, I think. Washington County, the cemetery. 18. I'm hoping this is actually... Burgettstown. Music Park. Ponderosa. Ooh! So we're, like, right there. Okay, okay, I got there just in time. But I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, there's a lot of Amish live there. Steel was a big thing. Um, the first nationally chartered bank in the U.S. It's called Bank of North America, founded in 1781 in Philadelphia. And then it eventually, after a bunch of murder, mergers, became part of Wells Fargo. And uh, if you don't know about Wells Fargo, just look them up and go like Wells Fargo. Price you can put any year in the past 10 years, maybe even 2008, with the big financial crisis then, and you'll, that name pops up quite a bit. Uh, well, you can't turn left here, even though the, they're, they're hoping something gets built here. Come on, focus, please. Thank you. I'm going to go back this way because I feel like the road out led me to a house right across the road here. We got corn wall iron furnace. I wonder if it's a wall of corn. Does that say sheet too? Oh, sheets. Never heard of it. Um, I don't know if we're actually going to get a Philadelphia location here. Five guys. It's okay, hamburgers. It's one of those places where I feel it's, oh, everyone, people say it's good, and then enough people end up saying it. <clears throat> that it could never live up to the hype. They're okay. Their fries are all right. Can I see where we are? No, I can't. That's probably just a turn sign. Lebanon Fairgrounds Expo. Got corn here. Iron Valley. I don't know where Iron Valley is. Tractor Supply Company. It's like. Walmart for tractors. I like farm equipment type, type stuff. If you told me what was the difference between the two, I think there's, they're both the same thing, but I feel like tractor supply has less um, different pieces of merchandise compared to what a Walmart would carry. Like, like if you compare Lowe's, 
which is like a Home Depot. Are these alien things, like, are there Lowe's and Home Depot's in other countries? So I don't know if these, like, things I'm comparing it to are actually going to be of any use and make any sense to anybody. Fulton Bank. Okay, I don't, maybe we're in Fulton County? But I've not seen any road signs, and that's a bit disheartening here. I was hoping to. Mavis also teaches typing, has discount tires. Got the Freemason, Mount Lebanon. Uh, does that say Joliet? It's Mount Olive, and Mount Lebanon. Doesn't help me. I don't know where any of those things are. Why haven't I seen a road sign anywhere? This is... This is annoying. Give me something, please. What's this say? Mannheim, we're on South 72. Lancaster's right there. South 72. There's 72. Okay. Mannheim was 12 miles. Are we in Elstonville? Like over here, maybe? Iron Valley, Park and Ride. I'll put us like right here, maybe. We didn't pass in the. Uh, well, Mannheim was 12 miles, and then Lancaster was 22. Okay, I ran out of time. We were farther, way up north more. Okay, we're on a highway. Looks like we're not going to get any, um, like, metro city areas here. We've got Skytop Mountain Road. That doesn't help me. I think that mile marker might actually have the... Okay, these aren't the ones that actually say the interstate we're on. Let's see. We're on 69, next to Waddle. I gotta get off so I can actually see where we are. Uh, actually, if I can go here, I can probably see that sign. Okay, we're on Interstate 99 going north. Gray Woods only. So 99, which is probably, you're not showing up. Interstate 9, okay, here it is. Lewiston. Is 99N? Where does it merge? Oh, three, 322 East. So Lewiston. Uh, are we like right here? Let me hit home. Oh, like three, 322 is there as well. So let's hit home. Try to triangulate myself again here. Let's look at this sign. To 550. All right, let's look for a... Okay, there's 550, which seems to be right here. Skytop Mountain Road. Is this Skytop Mountain Road? It doesn't say. I'm going to put us here for now. Did we cross water? This doesn't look like a bridge of any kind, so maybe we're maybe we're up north a bit more. Uh Bald Eagle Creek, that doesn't look like it. This, that entrance looked a little too complex for it to be here. But at Skytop Mountain Road. North High Street, nope. Nope. Atherton, Atherton. I'm not seeing a sky top anywhere here, so. It's got to be down here then, doesn't it? Let's, uh, hone ourselves a bit more here. I don't know if I'm really talking too much about. Okay, Atherton Street, the 322. So we aren't there, because none of these are 322. Let's go to Atherton Street. So that's not here. No. So 
Atherton, North High Street, North High Street, Atherton. Okay, so we're like Waddle and Graysdale. So we're like here then. We gotta be. Okay. Hit home and let's just do this one more time. Okay. So we are before a bridge which goes over a road. There's a lot of bridges going over roads here. Is it it's turning to the right. So we could be here. Um how much farther was it to that? Yeah, okay. So we are <clears throat> we're like right potentially here. Let me is there a second set of bridge before the there is not, so is that Sellers Lane? We could be like right here then. Can I get down? Oh, I ran out of time. All right, well, that's the state. Um, hopefully you got <clears throat> some tidbits of information out of that. It's a wonderful state. It gets humid in the summer. There's a lot of American history here if you ever wanted to learn more about it. You can probably go to places in Philadelphia. You can see the Liberty Bell there that's cracked. That on July 4th, someone goes over and hits it with a hammer. It doesn't ring anymore. Um, if you want to go see some of the most angry sports fans of all time, you can go to Philadelphia. They boo Santa Claus. Um, I believe they threw snowballs with batteries inside them at a football game at Santa Claus as well. Um, they're weird people. They get angry. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny how angry they get. Um, you can also, if you have not, you can watch Bill Burr. Um, it's a, kind of a poorly recorded because this happened a long time ago. He goes off on this really awful um, fans at a comedy tour they were doing. And they were just laying into it like a bunch of comedians before he went on there. And he just said, fuck it. He tried for a little bit and then he just spent the rest of the time. <laughs> Just shitting on them. It's pretty funny. Um, weird place. But, yeah. Thank you all for watching. We've got a whole week's worth of stuff. And by that I mean the usual thing. Will other stuff happen? I'm still futzing with stuff. Um, but if it comes up as a surprise, hey... Um, I know there's a like, favorite, comment, subscribe. I think there's a button you press for notifications if things pop up. Hit those things as well. Maybe I'll post them as well on the Facebook page. I just looked and it's almost been 10 months since I put anything on the Facebook page, but I don't know. GeoGuessr keeps happening at least though, so thank you all for at least staying around and watching that. But if you got any other comments, questions, concerns, complaints, put them in the comments below there. I'll read them and get back to you. Enjoy the beginning of your week, and we'll reconvene here again in uh, a couple of days to touch base and see how we're doing. We'll see you then, folks. Goodbye.